Hi, this is Joy at Red Pen Quilt Shop. Today we're talking about two different um, rulers from Creative Grids. These are both rulers that are designed to cut half square triangles and quarter square triangles. So we have the non-slip multi-size 45 slash 90 triangle. This is the smaller of the two rulers. And we also have the non-slip multi-size flying geese and 4590 triangle, which is the larger of the two rulers. They will both cut quarter square triangles and half square triangles, but there is quite a bit of size difference between them. So I'm just gonna kind of line them up so you can see. This is the quarter square triangle size. It will cut up to a five inch finished quarter square triangle with the smaller tool. The larger tool will cut all the way up to a 12 inch quarter square triangle. So you've got a lot more ruler here to work with on the quarter square triangle side. The other thing that's a little bit different is the half square triangle side. This one actually has about a half inch more width that it can work with on your, quarter, your half square triangles. So not a whole lot of difference here. I'll just go ahead and stack these so you guys can kind of see. We're not talking a lot of difference here. You've got a half inch more on the one tool versus the other. But you have a lot more size on the quarter square triangle side of the larger tool. The other difference between the two is the markings. They are both marked to cut half square triangles and quarter square triangles. But this tool, which is called a flying geese tool, is also marked for cutting flying geese. So this whole side has your markings for flying geese. So if you need a three by six flying goose, that's your side. And that is denoted here by the flying goose and it's the finished size. And then down the center, you have your quarter square triangle finished sizes marked, these black markings right here. And then down here, you have your strip sizes that you need to have to cut that particular size. So both rulers work in a similar manner. The one just gives you a little bit more real estate to work with so you can cut bigger pieces. But as far as how you cut with them, that is the same. So that's why we're demoing them both together. And we're gonna go ahead and show you how to cut with these tools. I'm gonna start out using the smaller of the two rulers. And to cut half square triangles or quarter square triangles, either one, you wanna put your fabric right sides together. So I have my fabric right sides together and I will go ahead and line up. There's a little white dashed line that is where my fabric is gonna line up and the rest of that tip is basically my seam allowance getting built in. So I'm gonna go ahead and line up the dashed line with the top of my strip. I'm gonna line up with the side and I'm gonna line up the three here because I'm actually cutting a three inch finished half square triangle. So my strip is actually three and a half inches wide and I will go ahead and cut. And there is a finished half square triangle unit ready to go into your sewing machine. Um, this has one dog ear trimmed off. You will have to trim the other side, but one dog ear is trimmed off, which is nice. And it is ready to sew. Now I'm gonna go ahead and rotate my ruler. So you guys can see the markings this time. So there is that size, that three inch finish size line. I will line that up with the bottom of the strip. I will line up there. My little dash line is right at the top of my strip and I can cut another half square triangle and again, ready to go into my sewing machine. So that is how you cut with the smaller tool. If you wanted to do that with the larger tool, this tool actually has a blunt end. So I can go ahead and again, line up with my backside. Here it actually tells me three and a half inch strip, three inch finish, and I have a blunt end that will line up with the top of my pair of strips. And I can go ahead and cut, and I will get basically the same piece um, ready again to go and sew one dog ear trimmed off. So the other side of the tool is the quarter square triangle tool. And I have that on both of them. I have a quarter square triangle side. The smaller tool though will actually not cut my three and a half inch, three inch 
strip, it's going to actually be too short. So I need to actually use my larger tool to cut this one. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate the ruler because I have an angle here already cut. The angle is the same. So I've got one side here already cut. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. I will line up there. My blunt tip again is going to be at the ruler, at the, at the edge of the strip. And there is my three and a half inch strip line. And I can tell my strip set is not quite lined up. Let me just get that a little bit better before we cut. And there is my, my three and a half inch strip line. And I'll go ahead and cut, and I can cut a quarter square triangle unit. So there's a quarter square triangle unit. I can rotate the tool and do the same thing on the other side of the strip, lining up here, lining up at the top, lining up on my three and a half and go ahead and cut. And there I have another quarter square triangle unit. So one thing that's important with quarter square triangles is to remember to consistently generally sew on the same side so that when you open it up, if I sew it on this side again, when I open it up, I will have the correct orientation of my pieces and they will end up like this. So um, it's important to kind of, as you're, since you're cutting them off of, off of two sides of the strip set and you're rotating your ruler, make sure you're continuing to kind of stack them consistently um, because most quarter square triangle units are going to look like this. Now, one thing that I like about this ruler or this ruler, either one for cutting quarter square triangles, is the fact that if I have a striped fabric, I can keep my stripes all going the same way. And generally that is what I have found looks the best. A lot of patterns will have you cut a square, kind of like what you're looking here, except it would all be this fabric. And then they will tell you to bisect it on the diagonal twice. And what happens then is you have some pieces with the stripe going this way, and you have some pieces with it going this way. Um, and that doesn't always work well. It can. Um, you want to look at your pattern, you want to look at the design, look at how things are landing, and then decide if that is good or bad. Um, but I have generally found that usually you're better off if you can manage a stripe and consistently have it going in the same direction. So that's one nice thing with this ruler is I can make sure my stripes are either all going across or all going lengthwise down my quarter square triangle units, and that all depends on how I cut my fabric strip. So that is a run through of both of these 45 degree slash 90, 45, 90 rulers from Creative Grids. They are both great tools to have. Um, I love to have this one when I'm doing smaller things, this one when I'm doing bigger things. And they are both very handy for cutting. They make it quick to cut. They make sure that you keep your straight of grain on the edge of your block, which is nice. And there is, they're both methods that are cutting with no waste, which I like to see for tools. I like to see ways that we can cut without having to waste fabric. So two great tools for you, both from Creative Grids. You can find them both on our website at www.redpinequiltshop.com. So www.redpinequiltshop.com. And you will actually find both of these great tools from Creative Grids. Thanks for joining us today.